Okay, so I have heard it a thousand times, but Sarah, it doesn't feel nice. I don't feel like I'm doing the right thing. If I set boundaries, if I um, speak my mind, if I ask for what I want, I don't feel nice. Okay, and so that's what we're gonna talk about today is um, feeling nice and what is actually nice and what is not actually nice, okay? So if you are, say you have someone who is um, addicted to food, okay? And they're obese and they're, you know, there's some people who are debilitated and they're in their bed and they're stuck in their bed, um, debilitated, and they want you to bring them food, okay? And you know if you bring them healthy food, nutritious food, um, that they might be able to get better and that they might be able to have a good life and they might be able to get out of bed and they might be able to move forward. But they're, they don't want healthy, nutritious food. They want Twinkies and Doritos and fried chicken and biscuits and french fries and hamburgers and whatever else, okay? So, you might not feel nice by not taking them the food that they want, but what's the actual right thing to do? What is actually nice? Is it taking them, just giving them what they want because they want it, or is it doing what's best for them, okay? Just like if you had, um, a heroin addict. It's not nice to give the heroin addict heroin. Um, just like if you had someone who was an alcoholic, it's not nice to give an alcoholic alcohol. That's not the nice thing to do. Toxic people feed off power and control. Power and control. They also feed off selfishness. They think they should be able to do what they want, when they want, and you should do it how they want. They make you, they play against you and use your best pieces against you and make you feel bad if you don't do what they want, when they want it, how they want it. But is it nice to help someone else to support their addiction? You would say no. Is it nice to support someone's selfishness? Like I just, like if I came to you and I said, you know, got this friend and they're really struggling with something they're really struggling with selfishness but I want to really support their selfishness I want to help them be as selfish as they could possibly be I want them to never have to mature to never have to look at themselves to never try to be better I just want to really support their selfishness so that I can feel nice you would look at me and say whoa that's th no Sarah that's not okay at all but that is what we are doing when we don't set boundaries to talk to people. You can probably hear the train in the background. Um, it's agreeing with me. It's like, woo woo. Okay, so uh, I love doing my lives and stuff outside. So you can see my lovely foliage. Um, it's finally turning into fall. So just like you would not support an addict's addiction to heroin, to um, food, to whatever else, when you support someone else's selfishness, it's the same thing or their need to control. Okay, so toxic people have us doing this dance, right? It's like uh, we're puppets and um, they have us doing this dance. And it's like, oh, they pull this string and we do this. And they pull this string and we do this. They pull this string and we do this. And we do this dance to make them happy. We do this dance in order to what we feel like, um, what to, to, in our hearts, we think that th that's going to create connection. That's going to create love. That's going to foster a relationship. We think that's the nice thing to do. But to a toxic person, their love language is control, not connection. Your love language is connection. And so you think, oh, if they need this, oh, it's no big deal for me to do that for them. Well, they had a bad day. I'll just stay patient. Oh, something happened. You know, it'll blow over. Okay. And so when you have that situation happening, you think you are doing the right thing. They think, wow, this is great because I get to do what I want and they keep doing what I, what I want them to do. And they pull those puppet strings. And as soon as you don't dance in the way that they want you to, they say you're selfish, they say you're not being nice, they say you don't really love them, they say you're not being kind, they say I didn't know you were that type of person. They use your best pieces against you. They use your strengths against you good, kind, loyal, giving, loving, hopeful, 
they're going to use those things against you if it will help them get what they want. And I want you to reframe it in your head and think, is love, is being nice, is being the person of integrity that I want to be, is giving someone else what they want every time so they don't have to mature, so they don't have to face up to their life, so they don't have to make better decisions, so they don't have to learn how to actually care about someone. I just keep dancing. I'm gonna keep dancing. Let them pull the puppet strings so that um, I feel nice, so I feel good, so I feel okay. Okay? And if next time in your head, if you're thinking, oh, it's not nice, it's not nice to, they, because they are going to turn it against you and say, you're not being nice. I thought you were loyal. I thought you were a better person than that. I thought you weren't selfish. There you're going to turn it against you. And when they do, it's going to, you're going to feel bad. But I want you to remember this video and think, just like if you would not give a drug addict drugs, just like you would not give an alcoholic alcohol, just like you would not give someone um, who just had a heart attack a cheeseburger, you would not do that because it is not nice to not do what's best for that person, just to avoid the conflict. Okay? So, next time they try to pull your puppet strings and then they tell you you're not being nice, I want you to, you don't have to change your actions right away, but you can change your thinking about it and realize, no, they're not being nice. They're asking to control me. They're asking to bully me. They're asking me to, they're asking to be selfish. They're asking to get away with things they shouldn't get away with. I'm not the problem here. They're, what they want is the problem. It's not me not being nice. It's them expecting too much from me and not expecting enough from themselves. So, ladies, I hope that helps, and have a great Sunday. We'll talk soon.